Hey guys, um, welcome to this two week. Uh, it's me playing as Ethiopians in blue, uh, and Maro, who I am playing as Franks in green. Opposite me is uh, Master Shifu in red, playing as Burgundians. Purple is Motra playing as Vikings. Okay, so okay, I'm just speeding things up. It's funny I miss these two sheep, and Red finds my sheep, so I get lamed. Uh, then you can see me. I'm searching all over the place. I cannot find my sheep. I like literally miss them, but it's okay. Uh, so I decide to take some of my hunt in the front. And I start to wall off. Speeding things up. And once I hit feudal age, I'll, I'll stop the fast play. Okay, let me go to normal speed. So I'm gonna hit feudal it soon. Uh, both of our opponents are in feudal, and you can see Master Chief already has a bunch of scouts, and Purple is going for our, for an archery range. Of course, as Vikings, maybe he wants to bring out some archers. I see an archery range, but he's not doing much, and. Maro is going for scouts as well. Okay, I, I get some archery ranges down as well myself. And meanwhile, scouts are moving ahead to hit me. So my friend of the base, friend, my friend base is walled, so they they are unable to hit me immediately. Which is good because I think they could have easily picked out these three villagers. So in a way, um, I'm okay so far. If I saw this, I could have quit all that too. villager, but okay. By blocking that villager, they basically reveal themselves. And uh, I get my, I get some spearmen out and some quick walls. But my berry is exposed. They can't get much, so they basically got one villager. And they run away. So they didn't deny much. And they forced me into spears, which was good. Because, I mean, that comes, comes into play m a bit later as well. Scouts are dead, and Maro goes in with his scout, but finds that purple is fully walled. Uh, not yet, maybe. Green.
anyway so I am building up some of my archer count in the front uh, so that I can push forward and red has just continued to boom actually has quite a wide open base on the left side crazy this is not a bad boom for a scouts play with nine villages so I think he wants to go into knights let's look at res also village account I think red is quite far ahead so I think so far he has had the cleanest build of the lot um, I mean he has not been disturbed a lot by any of us Okay, I'm pushing forward, I do get archer, um, paired archer armor, uh, just so that my archers last a bit longer. May not be necessary this early in the game, but uh, let me pause for a sec so capture it doesn't die on us okay that's a bit better yeah okay uh, Maro is trying to hit purple with no success so reds clicked up to the castle age uh, purple is uh, no I could have clicked up if I, I could have bought my myself bought myself the way up but I am focusing on hitting this guy instead a lot of idols but I haven't killed anything so far Bonjour. Uh, red just hits castle age Maro is also going to hit castle age soon meanwhile purple is also just booming you see I could have clicked up soon I want to see TC idle time. My TC idle time was very bad. Uh, see, I have 6 minutes of TC idle time. The red is 2 minutes. Maro also 2 minutes. So it seems like me and purple are similar in terms of idle time. Pusaurus? Okay, so I've killed 2 of purple's villages so far. Not done a lot. just trying to escape from here okay, I don't think I kill a single knight okay for killing two villagers uh, that was that seems like it's not was not worth it but uh, I did uh, I did uh, idle a lot of his eco okay finally click up to castle age and I know he's coming with knights Which is why I try to market wall, but there are a lot of holes here. It's not, I mean, my walling isn't great. Okay, 
Okay, purple has 23 archers. And purple's up to castle leaders. Ooh, ooh. It's like the perfect. Perfect cover book 24 archer build for purple, but just. I think it's like ooh, archer ooh. into unique unit. It's a bit weird. And slow. Okay, so the knights. Knights do come into my base. Uh, and I do lose a bunch of villages. I've lost five villages so far. Maybe. Okay. And I have a bunch of pikemen. Okay, so Maro does come in to help. Uh, to kill two of the knights. Some quick calls helping. Uh, but Lost five villages. And up to Castle Age. And my. Uh, I do get free pikemen upgrade. So Red is now trying to roam around Maro's base. Try to attack him. Okay, finally plug the hole. Okay, red is on two TCs. Purple is on a one TC push so far. Uh, okay, he has upgraded his crossbows. Does not seem doesn't seem to be attacking. Okay, Maro has plus two knights on defense at least. So the red knights get cleared up, and these will get cleared up by these pikemen. So, You can see my TCs are, are actually really idle. I'm not producing a lot of villages. Uh, sorry, here. My TC is idle. I have only 30 wills. And I have a lot of focus on army uh, instead. So red getting plus two attack. Uh, yeah, I'm just getting all my defense upgrades on my on my pikemen. Then I just go ahead to sort of raid red a bit. Ow. So I have 22 archers and some some nine nine pikemen. has quite some army. So he's about 15 pikemen and some 8, uh, eight knights over here. Okay, Maro does come in, try to attack this guy. Crossbow pike combo. Uh, yeah, so these pikemen are useless against my archers, and uh, the knights are useless against my pikemen. It's perfect. So I clear out all of Red's army, and if only Maro could have dived in with me right now.
Mano tries to come in over here. See the village at real time is just like super spiking for uh, for red. Oh shit! Okay, Maro is getting attacked. It's like there's about 40 crossbows, a lot of pikemen, and uh, wow. this should be good. This should be good. Let's see. Siege push is pretty good for Maro, so I keep harassing red, continue to harass red. Uh, so red so far has lost 15 uh, villages, 12 villages sorry. Okay, so scorpions will die here. Uh, I think Maro can dive on this. Ah no, not with these around. Because the Vikings could have the uh, the cavalry bonus, anti-cavalry bonus. Okay, I don't have ballistics yet. While I have harassed Red a lot, I just haven't wiped him out completely. Maybe I should have moved a bunch of archers here just to harass this wood line and some here to harass that wood line. Uh, but I have killed a lot of villagers from Red. Uh, let's see now. So Purple is just building, building a mass of berserks. Although purple doesn't have any defense upgrades on his berserks, he's getting chief stance. So basically, these berserks can be anti cavalry. Maro is clicked up to imp. I'm finally getting ballistics. Okay, now I'm a bit, bit caught out. I don't have enough pikemen nearby. Maybe I should have had these pikemen over here. Um, because duh, these are a lot of weak cavaliers. If I had another horde of 10 15 crossbows, I would have killed kill these out, but it's okay. <sighs> wow. So I have killed 27 villages of, of red. So red has lost 28 villages. So it's it's pretty serious damage to red. Um, whereas uh, Maro has lost 5 villages and purple is pretty much untouched on a 3 TC boom as Vikings which is crazy. Look, look at this. Yeah. 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 
39 crossbows and 20, 24 berserks. Another 10 or 15 inside the castle. Oof. Knights will die to all these berserks. Uh, let me just pause. Just getting a bit lag laggy again. Okay, but I think these knights can pounce on the crossbows. Okay. Maru's having a double, double castle drop in his face. So I'm going to get a cavalier attack back into my base. If I'm not careful. So managed to wall up my base again uh, and I am currently on two TCs. Okay, Maru is getting 2v1 now. Red is going to towards Maru. Uh, which is not helpful either. Again, ah. it's super laggy over here. Again, I am going to pause again and play. Decent raids for these knights, if you ask me. Uh, and I'm sure all those ramps will go out. Uh, these cavalier, sarcastic so upgrades. They don't. They attack. They have good attack, but they don't have good defense upgrades. And they are, so they are unlike imperial imperial age cavaliers who get a uh, plus plus six. Um, uh, with play, uh, plate mail armor, so these don't, they don't, these don't have that. So, uh, you can actually have good traits, and especially given that a lot of the cavalier were weak to begin with. Uh, so, too little, too late. This is like Indian police. Yeah, see. <laughs> It feels like the uh, the pikemen have killed the cavalier now. <laughs> Can take a snapshot of that. Uh, <laughs> uh, that. I mean that that is one of the issues I had throughout this game. I had a pretty bad lack of mobility. So again, I don't wait. I continue to push back. I want to harass red again and again. So as much as I can uh, before I get harassed, which is perhaps not far away. Because um, I'm only getting up to booming right now. Yeah, you can see I am 72 wills. Maro is 80. Red is 66, and purple is 72. Red is 66 after losing 28 villages. So I mean, uh, it would be like like 90 villages now if I hadn't harassed him earlier. So. Whoa, 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 look at purple with four castles, man. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I mean, uh, the only thing is, being Vikings, he could have been... Uh, could have been much more harassing, but... I mean, uh, but my, what am I talking? So, being Vikings, he could have been... Um, uh, could have had a much, much, much more solid eco. Uh, and he could have been like like 100 plus wills by now, but he hasn't done that. He has harassed Maro enough, and Maro has held. Okay, so that's 37 Frank Knights for Maro, soon to be Cavalier and eventually Paladin. Like, I guess. They have the full, full attack and defense upgrades. And I just think Maro doesn't have the eco to go paladin. That's perhaps uh, he does. He does. He could have played paladin by now. 
Yep, okay. Now the problem I have is I have 45 berserks coming to my base and I'm totally not prepared for this. So you can see that I'm back in Red's base trying to harass him and... You can see I have killed about 36 villages of red so far. Okay, uh, and if I had my vision proper, I, I should have seen this coming. I mean, I should have seen that coming. I just didn't see it coming. Okay, you see Maro diving in with his uh, cavalier, trying to take out these two castles. Finally, there's a bunch of scums from uh, the Bulgarian's guy. I move back to my base to deal with this. I am not ready to deal with this. So I'll have killed 38 villages of red. Get ready to lose everything. <laughs> uh, okay, Paladin coming in for Maro soon. Purple is also repairing the castle pretty well, so he is holding up against this uh, uh, against this trap war. And meanwhile, I have, I have absolutely nothing, and uh, maybe I should have just deleted some of this and then moved straight back in. But it doesn't matter. Okay, I'm one-shotting them so far. They are also taking me out, so... And I'm gonna lose a lot of villages now. I go for a panic cavalry switch. Without thinking that, that these guys could have chiefed him. Uh, again, I lose a lot of villages. Out of nothing, I've lost 49 villages so far. Uh, literally negates whatever I have just done to Red. Uh, so Red has come, gone. Uh, Red has totally switched to Skirms. Okay, Maro with Paladin taking out castles. So one castle down. I think he can take out one more. Uh, so he, he seems like he lost all his traps. And he's also trying to make sure that the uh, the purple guy doesn't mass arbalus. Okay, I build a panic castle back in my base and try to rebuild. And this is perfect timing, otherwise these guys would have come in and wiped me out. Even now, I think red, is, red isn't microing properly. Otherwise, this is a denied. This is a doubt castle. So I managed to build this castle. Anyway, uh, coming back. Okay, paladins are chasing the, the last of the berserks over here. Which are raiding Maro's eco. What a game. What a ridiculous game so far. Okay. Uh, and... I have clicked up to Imp. I am getting murder holes. Which... No. Okay, the guys... The, the scums have fled though. Uh, let me pause. Allow capture age to recover a second. Okay, the scums have gone away here. So it's about 40 scums from... From red, <sighs> I have lost 63 villages. I am now left with 28. 
and I've clicked up to Imperial Age and I am trying to boom back. I get Royal Heirs. Basically, I'm, I want to switch to Shotel Warriors and you can see I am switching to Shotel Warriors because I want to use them a bit of their mobility to clear out all of these comms very quickly. Uh, Shotels are pretty good against Trash and I do have, uh, you can see I have Infantry, oh, I'm blue. So I have full infantry upgrades, at least as of Castle Age, so it's not that bad. And I can create Shotel Warriors pretty quickly. And a bit, with a bit of market abuse, I can manage it. <sighs> okay, you can see Maro has switched to uh, throwing Axemen. And I think he's just doing that to, to sort of uh, counter the, the berserks and a lot, a bunch of these pikemen. 32 pikemen from, from red. Good. Not doing a lot. Okay, there's also a lot of pikemen from purple. Okay, Maro has to run back. Forced to run back because he doesn't want to lose all his uh, paladin to pikemen. Yeah. Okay, Pike Mint engagement against the uh, against the throwing axemen. They are going to do bad. My Shotel Warriors are now cleaning out all the uh, scums from red. I have a bunch of skirms on the other side, but again, these can get cleared up easily. And I'm slowly booming back, ever so slowly. So I'm on two TCs, trying to come back up, trying to stand up on my feet again. Okay, they have full defense upgrades, uh, these shortels. But I just have like this 10 or 13 shortels and they can easily take out all of this. They have like just 10 shortels can clear this up. And that is what I really liked about the shortel warriors. I mean I've never used them like this before. But against trash, against infantry they can be pretty good. Um, Maro taking another trap war against this. So he has, a, he has also like 10 throwing axe and light cab and paladin. It's a crazy game. Uh, okay, now Imperial Age coming in for both purple and red at the same time. I don't see any trade coming in though for, the, for them. Uh, they are both on 3 TCs or red is now on the 3rd town center sending in more skirm skirmishes to me and a bunch of are they paladin? they are not yet paladin they are cavalier uh, because he's not in the imperial age yet and some coastal here ok Maro lost, okay he didn't lose all his paladin, I thought he lost all his paladin, but he did lose a lot here. I think he lost all his uh, light cab and uh, all his, uh, all his throwing X-Men. I was going to lose all his paladin. also barely holding on this front meanwhile I'm getting a and can I see this I cannot oh, I just cannot see this 
does he know that or it's just coincidence he's just massing this up massive army okay i'm back up at 45 villagers uh, slowly rebooming uh, i have some 10 shotel warriors i mean i don't have a lot going for me Red tries to attack me and at the same time Maro is counter attacking purple and because Maro is counter attacking purple red moves out red runs to towards him to help him. Um, well that's what I understand yeah so if red had pushed in again like this I would have just pew, died like instantly died and I have nine shotel warriors. I have though. nothing else. I'm getting blast furnace. So I'm getting all the upgrades I can. Okay, Maro stealing my gold. It's like one, two, three, four, five TCs for Maro. Okay, Red is sending like an AI army comp of 25 skirms and 19, 19 pikemen and nine costillier. I think my shotels will not do bad. See, see the 19 skirms are now already almost zero. So I think that's that's a great trade. And I think most of the halberdiers will die. I don't think the Costillia did any charge attack, or maybe they did. Okay, I, I lost all my shotels, but it wasn't a bad trade. It wasn't a very bad trade. Okay, meanwhile, like uh, all the Paladin and Light Cav push from Maro has been stalled, thanks to all these uh, pikemen. Who's on? And Red has helps. Again, my Shotel warrior are taking care of the Halberdiers. Uh, wow. This is the best part I like about Shotel warriors is like they just one or two shot. And and if I hadn't switched into this, uh, switched into Shotels, I would be completely dead by now. I'm not, no, I'm saying that I'm not like, com I'm not dead, but I would be completely dead. <laughs> Okay, I'm now at 57. Oh, oh. I have 16 shotels so far. And I should send something to take care of that scorpion. I don't. Anyway, okay, I send the shotels now. Oh, I'm also building a bunch of pikes and some traps just to help or think of trying to help Maro. Maro with his own helps. And I'm switching into Hassar too. Uh, crazy lag, crazy lag. Let me pause and come on. Okay, and ridiculous production of uh, helps from, from Maro to hold. Uh, helps and light cap coming out for, for him. Uh, let's look at his eco. Uh, he has 62 on food and 38 on wood. I have 15 on food and 10 on wood. And my numbers are going down because okay there are paladin in in the back of my base ah, again i kept getting raided so i need to deal with the paladin again uh, although i have moved forward to try and help maru Ow. and uh, Ok, 
Okay, I've sent my show tails forward and uh, my traps should be moving forward as well soon. Yeah. Okay, I do lose a lot of villages again. Till date, I have lost 115 villages. Uh, so Reds raids have been pretty good. So now I'm now I'm forced to make helps just to defend my own base. Ow. And send my. No. So I've sent my reps forward to take down this castle. Paladin and helps. Paladin raids from red. Um, I'm fucking made some pikemen, which are here doing jack shit. But okay. <sighs> with whatever eco I have, I'm pushing with uh, with my shortels. Yeah, I just go with my shortels and take the castle down. Shortels are amazing at taking out trash. Uh, okay, so I have died again, uh, back to twenty eight villages, and I try to boom again. This time I try to boom properly. Uh, and I have switched to Hussar, finally. I have all the upgrades, so um, I don't get plate, plate barding as uh, Ethiopians. Okay, I'm gonna lose all my short ends in the front. Uh, and Red's going to lose all his paladin. So tomorrow's helps. There's an insane trash fest going on here. Look at that trash, trash, trash. Pausing, otherwise it's this sort of bugs or lags. Okay, my hasa stay uh, prevent uh, kazal in by red in the center, uh, and my halves intercept the halves from red. And I, so red is sending a bunch of villages forward. So again, I don't know why. Pause and unpause so that they don't lag. And I'm back up at 43 villages now.
This is so I saw these villages and I sent uh, some of my Hassa to deal with this. Uh, reds, reds, paladins which were there are being now sent to Maro today. Uh, Maro sent like made them infinite light caps. Okay, Red's castle was denied, but he's now making a bunch of barracks in front just to replenish the. the help train from this side. Oof. Again. Crazy, crazy game. Okay. Another castle being trapped down for purple. And he has a bunch of arps and a bunch of pikemen. I didn't know. I don't know if Vikings don't get pikemen, do they? I am not sure. Uh, okay, I'm massing up enough hussars now to make a raid. So I'm gonna send all of them towards purple to continue to raid. Crazy, crazy lad. So I'm sending Hassas to raid now, finally. Trade's getting, they're getting some 44 gold by trade. I'm not sure if there's trade for red. I don't think so. Oh, there is. Also getting 44 gold now. So their trade started to kick in. Okay, the gold was denied by my Hussar. And now Hussar raiding in the trade and the eco of purple. And... Uh, I am finally at 57 population again and uh, back up at 47 farms. So I can make some hussar, if not a lot. You can see I am making a lot more hussar now. So I am able to like sort of go into their eco and raid these guys down. Yeah, finally. So the GG is called. Uh, they have halbs. We have helps. Maro has. Uh, I have Hassar. Maro has. Light Cap. Deriko is going to be raided down soon. So, anyway, so they call the GG. It is almost up to a point where we would have called the GG as well. I mean, if. Uh, if this has hit my Hassar. Or if they had come into my base again, I would have just resigned because uh, I can rebuild, but there's only so many times you can rebuild, right? So, <laughs> um, yeah, on oh, the Cisco card. Um, you want? You should see my my timeline is like. Okay, Castle Age. So I have raided a lot on uh, on Red. So my timeline goes up and down, up and down, up and down. Um, because I got raided so many times as well. And I tech switched four or five times. Maro has the most consistent timeline in this game. And so does Purple a bit. But Purple also got killed by Maro towards the end. Um, red also got raided several times so you can see every time red's army goes to zero i have actually killed him 
so I went in with uh, crossbows and pikes ones uh, archers and spears ones crossbow and pike ones crossbow and pike ones and also dented his villager count a lot uh, actually as Bulgarians um, I think towards the end he could have just gone Flemish militia I, I think then we would have just resigned but you can see like if I was hit again I would have resigned but I was still able to hold and uh, towards the end I was able to send a bunch of hussars which sort of kill purple eco yeah, of course Maro's eco has to be better than everyone else um, I had the worst eco of the lot uh, because I was raided 3-4 times um, maybe red comes next no yeah I mean for Viking Sky this eco is is okay it's not great and if the Vikings guy was a strong boomer I think we would have died long back so so Vikings was a bit weak I was weak because of the counter attacks and the Vikings berserk attack was too much for me to handle um, and I think I also kept Master Shifu from booming by killing a lot of his villagers as well Maro was by far the MVP he was holding uh, pretty well Whew. And uh, you see the imp time for Maro is very early. I mean these two guys imp totally much later. Uh, but despite the early imp time, I think you have to say that purple held. He didn't lose a lot of his castles. Um, okay, they did have some trade. So red had 10 trade units and purple 5, which I eventually raided. Purple just had four castles, okay. But he built total six. Yeah, that I can understand because yeah. Yeah, current two. So I think Maro killed four castles. There's at some point four castles on the ground, but I I can recognize he built a lot of castles. Um, of course, welcome.